Hello, welcome to RV Adventures. I'm Alan, and I'm here today to talk about rivets. In our Casita trailer, I've had a couple of rivets break loose with all the shaking and bouncing that the trailer does down the road, and I'm going to repair one today. Up here, you can see that this rivet has busted loose, and uh, the cap came off, and I don't know where that went. But the rivet's right here, and it busted. So, I prefer to replace these rivets with a stainless steel screw and nut with the same kind of head. So let's get started. All right, the first step in repairing this rivet is to pop it out. So I'm gonna take a little hammer and just push up on it like that, just a little bit. And then we'll go outside and pull it out from the top. Okay, let's go up the ladder, take a look up here at the top. And you can see the rivet that's been popped up is this first one. Take my screwdriver and just lift that little cover off right there. Actually, it just comes right out. Okay, you can see that you can just pull it right up. This little cap comes off and it sits into this base. And the appending rivet is right here. I'm just going to pull on that and pull it right on out. I'm just wiggling it as I pull it. All right, there it is, the broken rivet. And it's all out. Now from this rivet that I have taken out, you can see how long it has to be. Obviously it was a little bit longer because the nut was on the end. So I'm going to check my little stainless steel bolt. And that looks about like the right length. Not sure. So I'm going to screw the cap nut on the top of it to see if in my best estimation it would be about the right length. So I'm taking off this longer one. Didn't know what size I would need. Screw it on this one here. So, so you can see that the stainless steel screw is just a little bit too long. Of course, it broke off, but uh, I think it probably is still too long. This is screwed down as this is screwed down as far as it would go. So I'm going to cut about an eighth of an inch off of it. And I'll be right back. Cut this to length that we need. I think it's about just an eighth inch off the end. So what I want to do is take my vise and I'm going to put that little eighth of an inch in the vise so that I don't mess up my threads behind there where the nut is going to attach. Tighten that up just a little bit. I'm going to take my hacksaw. There we go. I saw through that. And I'm just going to hold this screw in here and take my real fine little file. Just file the little burrs off the end of it there. So the cap nut has no problem screwing on. There we go. Now, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to take my uh, cap nut right here and make sure I can thread it on there real easily. Yes, I can. I'll tighten it down all the way as tight as it will go. And then I'm going to compare the height. And that looks really good right there. Looks like that's going to secure it just fine. Just needs to be a little bit above the base of the cap nut to get it snug. So I'm ready to go back out there and put this in. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure you have this washer that the little cap sits in on the end of your screw. And we're going to put that in there and just push it down in there as far as it will go. Make sure that's down all the way. 
and then I'll go inside and see if it went down like it should. Okay, we can see that the screw came down through the hole pretty good. Okay, one thing you want to make sure you do is get you a good silicon lifetime weatherproof caulking. We'll put a good bit of silicone right there. And then I'm going to push it down through there. There we go. That gets plenty of silicone there. And I'm not going to do the rest of it until after I get through tightening it up. So I'll go inside, put the washer and the nut on there, and then come back out and put the cap on top. Okay. We're back inside now. We're going to take a washer and go ahead and use a little bit larger one because it's such a critical corner here. And we'll put my little cap nut on there. And tighten that down. And this is when your helper outside needs to hold the head of the screw so you can turn it. Okay. While my helper's inside holding that nut, I'm going to take and just tighten this screw up. Just going to snug it up a little bit. Not much. There you go. Nice and snug. Now, put some more silicone caulk around that. Like that. Then I'm going to take my little cap. Just put it over it, snap it, all fixed. You can wipe off any excellent silicone that oozed out, and now it's a waterproof seal. Okay, that's how I repaired my broken rivet. I hope this will help you when you need to fix one. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Please share your comments below and click the subscribe button. Thank you.